Welcome to another edition of Standard & Poor's Latin America Monday Morning Roundup. I'm your host, Fabio Ortiz, and I am glad to present you our weekly research highlights for the region. We downgrade Brazil base exchange and clearinghouse BN and F Bovespa to double B. The downgrade follows our assessment of the company's potential resilience to a hypothetical scenario wherein Brazil defaults both in local and foreign currency. The outlook is negative, mirroring the sovereign rating outlook, as we now expect the ratings on the company to move in tandem with those on Brazil. We revise the outlook on Brazilian food processor Camila Alimentos to negative. The outlook revision mirrors that of the sovereign, given our view that the company's short-term debt concentration and exposure to cash generation and position in Brazil don't allow the company to pass the hypothetical stress scenario of a sovereign default. We assign our double B minus rating on Dominican Republic based power generation company AES Andres. The rating reflects our view of the company as core entity for AES Española. Therefore, our rating on the company is based on the group's consolidated figures and business strategy. The outlook is stable. We downgrade Brazilian airline gold lineas aéreas inteligentes to double C and place all ratings on Credit Watch negative. These rating actions were taken following the announcement of an exchange offer for all of the company's outstanding bonds. Bondholders have a deadline of June 1, 2016 to accept it. The downgrade reflects the company's current weak liquidity because of consistent covenant breaches. Additionally, the credit watch negative reflects our view that the exchange, if accepted, is distressed and thus tantamount to default. We revise our outlook on Brazil-based private hospital Rede Dior São Luis to negative. The outlook revision reflects our view that the company will not be able to withstand a potential sovereign default. As a result, we cap its rating at the same level of the sovereign rating on Brazil. However, we continue to believe the company will still maintain its market leadership in Brazil private hospital sector and post strong operational metrics. We upgrade Dominican Republic-based power generator Empresa Generadora de Electricidad Itabo to double B minus. The upgrade reflects the company's improved credit metrics above our expectation due to its resilient track record of greater power generation. The outlook is stable. We place our double B minus ratings on Mexican-based cement producer Grupo Cementos de Chihuahua on credit watch with negative implications. The Great Watch listing following the company's announcement that it reached an agreement to acquire several assets in the U.S. from Cemex. We operate Mexican hotel operator Grupo Posadas to B+. The upgrade follows the improvement of the company's operational performance, which boosted its metrics despite a volatile foreign exchange environment and lower GDP growth in Mexico. It also reflects the company's favorable position and knowledge of the industry. The positive outlook reflects our view that the company will continue improving its operating performance, liquidity, and cash flow generation in the next 12 months. Finally, we operate the ratings on Mexico-based insurers Qualita Compañías de Seguros and its affiliates to BB+ and BBB-, respectively. This upgrade reflects our revised view that the company is not exposed to ex complex risk that could cause a significant loss of capitals and earnings in the short period of time. The outlook is stable. This was another segment of our Latin American news. Thanks for watching, and we will see you next week.